Hey, what's going on guys? It's Turks back with another video. And today we have a new video on the bot farm for old school RuneScape. But before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for all the support that you've been providing to this channel. I didn't expect any of my videos to even reach the views that they have right now. But we do seem to be continuing to grow. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Um, but if you do enjoy the content that I'm content that I'm putting out, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want and uh, turn on the post notifications if you want to be the first to receive updates in regards to this bot farm. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys what I can do to make my videos a bit more interesting. Um, I don't like adding music to my videos because I feel like it takes away from what's actually happening and I like to explain what's happening with my bot farm. So if you guys have any ideas, maybe I can throw them into a like a series and kind of like put a table of contents or something similar. But Leave some ideas in the comments and I want to implement them into my videos in the future. If you do, if you guys do like music, then I will throw music into the videos. But personally, I think that it takes away from the main subject. But um, without further ado, let's just get started with the uh, actual bot farm here. So uh, in my prior video, <clears throat> I created a questing script and uh, it got 10 quest points for me. So ever since then, I created another script that gets 100 total level that one is uh it does various skills basically to hit that 100 total level mark so that we can get that trade restriction off of the account but once that's done we will probably just have to run various scripts and hit that 20 hour uh in game time for the trade restriction by just botting basically so until that happens um we'll basically just be botting any uh a ver various scripts but since then we also created a clay miner the clay miner has an auto mulling function so there's a variable set within the script that uh basically detects how much clay is in the or is in the bank so if it hits a certain threshold then it will call a um it'll call a mueller to come and grab that gold off the account so today I'm going to be presenting this information to you guys and you guys can kind of see the uh, the mulling process as it happens. But um, once it's done mulling, the worker will go back to doing work and the mueller will go back to being available and the mule will be available for another worker to call its uh, mulling. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's nothing too complex. Um, but the actual implementation of it was quite complex but you guys probably don't care about that as much and don't really care to hear the explanation but um as you can see the account's going to log in <clears throat> i filled up the inventory with some clay so that it can call the bot and the threshold is very low it's at about 100 gp so uh if the clay in the bank is worth over 100 gp then that mule is going to be called so yeah As you can see, it banked the uh, clay and then it grabbed the the uh, total profit banked in clay. Kind of stupid wording, but basically all that means is how much uh, how much clay is in the in the bank and how much it's worth. So three thousand eight hundred sixty one GP is how much that clay is worth. So right now it's going to be pulling out <clears throat> the clay. So that it can trade it over to this mule and the mule is being called on the left hand side as you can see uh it's it's pulling a name for the account to trade and it's pulling the world on the for the account to trade and uh prior to this i was trying to use uh the car the character world ar script argument or not script argument but command line argument for tribot but it wasn't working uh so i had to uh take that out it would speed up the process quite a bit, but it was running into some issues because of the way that I guess the uh, that Tribot handles the the worlds. It was trying to go to an invalid uh, URL, so it was running into some issues there. But nonetheless, it still works. It's just a bit slow. Um, so as you can see, it's accepting this gold. This account on the left hand side is going to log out. Instead, it's set its status to uh, available to Mule, and once I make sure that the script is working as necessary as needed, uh, it's going to close out of this entire process, but it doesn't do it right now, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I, I can easily implement it, but 
as you can see, this account goes back to working and gathering more mine until it hits that threshold again, and then it calls another mule that's available for trading. But um, that's basically the gist of this script. Uh, it's a pretty simple script. I did enjoy making it. <clears throat> I ran into some issues, as I probably always will whenever I'm creating new scripts. There's going to be issues that you run into, then you fix those issues. But um, that's the part of coding. You're basically debugging constantly, and you're probably never going to have bugs. I mean, never not going to have bugs, so you're always going to have a bug that you're trying to fix or you're trying to implement a new uh, function or something like that or may improve your script, make it more efficient, uh, make it to where it implements a bit more anti-ban, things like that. You're always going to be making changes to your scripts and making changes to your programs. So this is kind of... Um, it's it's part of coding basically so i just wanted to show this guy to you guys um what else have i done <clears throat> yeah i mean that's basically it. it doesn't seem like much but it did take some time especially that uh 100 total level uh script that i created it's it was a pain in the ass to implement the uh muling wasn't that bad i just kind of put it off because i fucking i don't know what it is but whenever i mess around with my databases it's just very, um, what's the word, off-putting for some reason. I just don't like to uh, mess around with it too much. But we did get it implemented, and now that we have it implemented, it's kind of like a copy and paste thing. I can kind of implement this across all my scripts, so or all my future scripts. And I'm not going to be running just Clay. I'm going to be running multiple uh, bots for various scripts or for various methods for money making. So. May have some wood cutting, may have some cooking, may have some other things we just don't know yet. We will get to that point, and I will update you guys on that, provide some uh, profits and things like that. But from here, we can probably start mining some actual or start gold farming to an extent. Uh, I just don't want to just throw 70 counts at my uh, at my server and just run it with these mules because. Uh, we're going to have to refine this process and I want to make it as efficient as poss possible as always. I just don't want to waste all these accounts and uh, if we if we run into bugs, which we probably are going to run into bugs, I want to fix those. And then once we fix them and we see a constant flow of no bugs, maybe like for a series of days, we're not getting any any bugs whatsoever. That's when I will start to actually scale up because um, until that point... We are going to run into bugs. It's it's a it's a fact, and it it's just a matter of time, basically. But um, just wanted to keep you guys updated and show you guys some of the new implementations and new scripts that I've created. Uh, I would showcase the uh 100 total level script that I created, but it's really not anything sophisticated or anything too crazy. All it does is just get that 100 total level, and it that's it. It just gets the 100 total level and logs out, and it's done. But um. <clears throat> I will keep you guys updated. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the videos with suggestions on what type of scripts you think I should make. Um, if you guys have any good ideas, just leave them in the comments. I'll get to them. I reply to all your, your comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, but like I said, please, please subscribe. Turn on the post notifications if you want to be the first to be notified by these videos. Um, and that's it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Goodbye.